I don't know why I'm clapping, but hey you guys welcome back to my channel So in today's video I decided to go to five and below to see if I can find some art supplies to use that are five dollars and below So this video was suggested by one of you guys, but I unfortunately didn't take a screenshot of your name So I can't even shout you out, but let me know in the comments and I'll pin you if I find you I mostly went to five and below to see if I can find some alcohol markers that were there, but Unfortunately, I didn't see any alcohol markers. The only markers I saw there were the Sharpie markers and that's not what I was looking for. I did find a little marker section there but it looked like um they were sold out so maybe next time maybe i'll go back again to see if they'll restock those markers but right now there was nothing there but since i was already there i went ahead and i took a look at the rest of the store and i found some really nice sketchbooks that were literally just five dollars five dollars so wow and they looked like nice quality sketchbooks so I decided to get some watercolor sketchbooks because I haven't done watercolor in a while so I wanted to like you know get back in there again and see and then I kept searching for the watercolor palette until I saw this little palette for just three dollars and twenty five cents three dollars and twenty five cents hopefully it doesn't dry like chalk I feel like that's what's gonna happen most of these cheaper watercolor palettes try like chalk and ugh, not cute but we'll see but yep I only spent $14.21 and that was because I added the little dry eraser board that I really don't need but I want it so yeah so let's go ahead and take a closer look at these art supplies that I got this is what the watercolor looks like up close 12 colors with the brush and a sponge for just $3.25 Oh, and there's a five-day drawing prompt. And here is the sketchbook. Like this, it's literally, it's so thick. It is so thick. It looks really good for just $5. So that's 40 sheets. 40? Only 40? It looks like there's more than 40. Wow. Ooh. Aw, this is really cute. A little palette. We have our little mixing area, the sponge, and we got a water brush. All right, so I got some water in here. Let me just see if I can close this again to open it and then close it. I got some water in the little brush. We'll see how this looks as well. Honestly, for $3, I don't mind. This seems okay. I'm not trying to do like a comparison video, but I do want to see what the difference between a almost $200 palette versus the $3.24. I literally just want to see what the quality is like. To wash my brush, I have my, I have my little water cup here just a plastic bottle I cut in half and put some water in there you know bring it in let's do some swatches I'm just gonna pour some water on here <gasps> whoa why is that actually so bright okay you know what hopefully when it dries it dries as bright as this this is nice Oh, my brush is already stained, but like it's completely clean. Pretty sure I've permanently changed the brush tips color. There's that. <laughs> I don't think I can get it cleaner than this. Okay, let's see. Oh my, yeah, I can definitely see the difference between these two palettes. Alright, the top is dried. Now I'm just letting 
for the Sennelier watercolors to dry. I'm tired of waiting. Okay, I think it's almost dried. It is a little bit, oh, yeah, this is very chalky. I'm literally smearing the, uh, the watercolor off, like, oh my God. But yes, um, this is very chalky, but for the higher quality watercolor, you're not gonna see any of that happening here. Nothing, nothing compared to that. <laughs> So yeah, this was a drawing I did back in 2019 using the Sennelier watercolor paints. I am going to redraw this using the $3.25 um, watercolor paints. So let's do that. And this is just a reference image from Pinterest. So before we color, I'm just going to tape down the edges here. I'm going to go off the colors I did here. So let me see. This is what the sketch came out like. So far, so good. I think the first time I did this drawing, I was trying to make her look realistic. But this time I was just like, you know what? If it happens, it happens. But it's looking a little bit more realistic than the first one. Uh-oh, I'm starting to see this paper kind of peel up. <gasps> no. This brush is really good, by the way. So far, I'm actually enjoying it. Now that I'm on the second layer, I'm noticing that the paint kind of reactivates once I put water on it. Like you can see that black is kind of just like reactivating again and I'm just... So like what's the point of waiting for it to dry if it's just gonna reactivate? So I'm pretty much done with the watercolor portion. All that's left is to ink this a little bit and that's it. Okay, so I'm actually just using the Ahulu marker in this deep brown color. It's a little bit curved now, but that's watercolor for you. But yeah, the paper quality is really good. I'm not seeing, um, maybe just around here, there's a little bit of like, I don't know if that's the paint or if it's the, oh, it might be, yeah, it might be the paper. So the paper is kind of peeling over there and around her chin there. And as I'm peeling the duct tape, the paper is kind of like peeling off. But the thing is, this duct tape is not really that strong for it to be peeling off this easily. I think for $5, it's not that bad. Still peeling a little bit. Ah, I'm gonna erase a little. All right, and here is that watercolor painting. For just $3.25, I was able to do this. Minus the Yahoo markers that I used to line it, but there's that i really like how the coloring looks on this honestly like especially the face the colors just look better compared to this here 
But yes, this is the final results of me going to five and below, finding a sketchbook with the $3.25 watercolor palette. And yeah, that was really fun. So that is pretty much it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, thanks for watching.